Washington Athletic Club for the Players' Championship. You're watching continued coverage from the World Players of Handball. My name is Dave Vincent. This is Charlie Shanks versus David Fink. Charlie is the number one ranked player in the world right now, according to the WPH rankings, and he is in the driver's seat. If he continues to win, he will be playing Paul Brady in the finals this evening. These guys are warming up right now on the show court with the referee, John Bike, getting things all ready. Look at John's Homer Simpson socks. That's what separates John from everybody else. Color coordinated for this big Players Championship. John is in the finals of the senior division, which will take place this evening. Senior Pro Tour finals at 7 o'clock. He'll be going up against Andy Shad. Getting ready for this one to kick off here within the minute the players play. Normally, they start right on time here on the WPH Pro Tour, and you can see that there are some announcements. We can't necessarily hear what's going on in this court, but John Bike's definitely going to keep these guys in track. Okay, we are less than a minute away from starting the last match of pool number one. Listen for these announcements from John. I'd like to remind everyone to party wisely. We have about nine more hours of exciting handball <laughs> coming up. Don't, don't peak too soon. John looking out for his fellow brothers in the stands. We, and, I, and I'll just go ahead and tell our director, Chris Garad, that Dave Fink sat down with an interview with us, and I'd like for him to cue that number for one. For this match, we have our number one seed and guaranteed points race champion based on his play over the season and yesterday. Please welcome from Lurgan, Ireland, Charlie Shanks. Hands together for Charlie and John Bike just already let the cat out of the bag that statistically Charlie Shanks is our players champion of 2012-13 season. Now from season. Tucson, Arizona, new WPH development director. Please welcome David Fink. Now if Dave Fink can keep Charlie Shanks under got my 13 points, the shirt the white shirt. then that will pave the way for Nadi Alvarado who could win pool number one, zero, believe it or not. Serving zero. Naughty currently has a 13-point lead on Charlie Shanks. Charlie Point. has more wins than Naughty, but now we're going to talk to Naughty Alvarado here about that as we welcome him into the booth. It's really one nice serving zero. to see the aging now gray-haired handball players get into the booth. <laughs> Naughty, welcome. Thank you. Nadi, are you aware of what, what's happening Two, here? Uh, have you zero. heard the rumors that if Dave Fink were to defeat Charlie Shanks, where Charlie only scored 13 or less total points, you would be in the finals? Point. Yeah. No, I, I knew that uh, after that game two defeat of 15-1 that it's going to haunt me. <laughs> uh, Three, but, you know, Dave's going to have to do something really impressive here today. Not that he can't, but, you know, it's just going to be interesting to see if he could. I mean, it, right now we've got a nice 3-0 lead. Point. You're liking zero. it. You're liking I'm it. I'm liking <laughs> it. I need this to be 15 0, 15 11. That's it. <laughs> well, yeah, that, Four yeah, that can happen. Zero. No. Four to zero. <laughs> Off to a good start, though. That's nice to see. Light up. Come on. we got to make every shot. <laughs> it's funny that a guy that zero didn't know anything about the points wouldn't have said that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, that was a. Uh, Really bad situation to start off with Charlie uh, Friday morning, Friday afternoon anyway. Yeah, it's tough to go after that. But, you know, when you're playing, you have the top eight players mm -hmm. in the world here. What I guess can you there's do? just no way you can hide from No, him. and I really needed to hide from Charlie first day. I think you would have rather had Emmett or Dave yeah. Fink on that opening or yeah. Andy Ned or something like that. Yeah, kind of ease your way into it. E whether you win or lose, it would just... It's tough to go up against the best player in the world in the bracket. I mean, best player yeah. in the rankings. Not mm -hmm. only that, you know, and then Charlie's just playing so well. He's just playing, you know, serving. And you saw that second game. That first game, he was just seemed a little edgy, not, you know, a little stressed One out maybe. serving four. But then he got going. And then it was just, you know, 15-1. Well, it looked like at one point he was just putting on a service clinic. He was. 
point. He does he not understand what's going on here? We need him to make <laughs> every shot. <laughs> I'm in the wrong Two, spot. Serving four. I should be watching him play live. Not yeah, not here. No. Point. Okay. Well, he is only ten points away from securing his final. Is that correct? Great. Might just happen this game. <laughs> Three serving four. Three serves four. Nadi Alvarado in the announcers section here. Washington Athletic Club. Charlie Shanks trying to win his pool, oh. and he's just Point. scoring points against Dave Fink now. After Dave jumped out to a four to zero lead. It's tough, Nadi. Getting older and still four. trying to play this game at a high level. How do you consistently continue to keep doing that? Um, you know, it's a good question because we're not doing a good job I of know. it. Uh, great deep court shot here by Dave. Uh, one of his, I guess I'd call that his bread and butter. Just amazing, 38 feet four falling away. It's four. a nice kill shot. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you know, once you get on the court, it's easy to uh, Five, find the fire. But, you know, I can find more and more that it's tougher to not only, you know, churn my own fire, but find guys right who can out. play, uh, who want to play, you know. Right. That's that's even probably that harder. That is you. harder. It Four is harder. serving five. Four five. Can I tell you what a great job Omar Alinas has been doing all weekend? Just stellar. Right out. Hardest whole work staff. Yeah, the whole the staff. staff. They're all, everyone's working hard. Yeah, I, I just see Omar the Five, most. There's we've got a four. couple of little uh, workers in the back there I never Three. see until the end. One screen. One screen. Dave looks back as if he didn't hear anything, but. <laughs> Short. Second serve. That was a phenomenal match last night with uh, Brady Point. and Moreno. That was fun, actually. Yeah, you guys had a really good uh, spot here. We're watching down there at Haggerty's. Full room. Six. Oh, there. really? Oh, yeah. Well, live feed. Oh, yeah. The great. I didn't know that. Should yeah, they, they even turned off the Clipper game to watch that. You know. Well, I mean. Of course. Why would you not? So surprised how that NBA playoffs point. have turned out this year. And there's another point for Dave Fink. But Seven we saw just four. after the first set of games all across the NBA playoffs, Charles Barkley comes on and said it. The NBA should be embarrassed. This is the worst playoffs in the history of first round matchups in the history of the NBA. And then. Right all of these upsets that are taking yeah. place. Uh, I think it's a good thing. There we are. I think it's a good thing. It's us. <laughs> it's perpetually. Um, uh, it's this Four one here. Serving it's perpetually. Seven. Uh, it's 5:30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Uh, what do they have over here? It's. Uh, is it Five October over here? Seven. Are we in Anchorage right now? Because I know the center. <laughs> no, no, that was the Space Needle. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just did they move the Space Needle to Anchorage? Oh, okay. <laughs> Cover. Oh, replay, what? It replay it. Oh, I would have to just call that an avoidable. Replay. I don't know what Dave is looking at. <laughs> he got lucky. Charlie just said, "You know, I'm still wanting to take this." And and Five serving Naughty, seven. he was fighting through to. <laughs> To continue on here, he's like, I don't care. I don't. Let me have that I don't shot. care. I'm taking it. I think you want that shot, honestly. In the well, yeah, you got your opponent out of position. Yeah, that's. Gosh, Charlie really winds up when he, he hits does. It. He's got this short little punch Three stroke. Break. Good break for Dave there, I think, because I think he didn't see that. Charlie Shanks has really dropped some weight. Five, six, he looks seven. lean and mean, huh? He does. Yeah. Wearing a size medium shirt, he's six foot two. Point. Size medium. What in the naughty Alvarado is he trying to do? That six ball was a crack out on the seven. right side. Do you put Charlie serves up there, naughty, with in the top three of the game? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a Point. there's a guy who is just dictating pace and momentum, and and uh, just dictates momentum. I mean, that's it. You get servers box, and you're doing that. You're you can hit cracks. Seven you're gonna get weak returns. Seven. Get the cripple. He's gonna get the cripple. And that's the object of the game, I think. Short. Look at that. Is that good? Short ball. I saw it good. I it's very hard to see from up there. So the next it time is. you yell at a referee, realize that one disagree, one it's agree. impossible to look down. I saw this good. Let's see. Let's, let's see at impact. Let's see if Chris can kind of stop this ball right there. <coughs> Looks good. Might have been good. Yeah. It's okay. easier for us when we have a camera. What are we gonna do? What are we do? I need him to go 
right now. Just close them out right here. You got to do it. You want to bet? <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Nani Alvarado really Short. still in this, actually. Isn't that funny? You're only six points in it. Yeah. Six Second points third. in pool play. If Charlie were to lose this, that meant that that would mean that Charlie would have two wins and one loss. Mm -hmm. Nadi, you would have two wins and one loss. Yeah. It would come down to total points scored. Right. Right now you have a 13-point lead on Charlie seven. Shanks. And so if Charlie scores six more, that ties you guys. The second tiebreaker is a sudden death game to seven. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'd love to play more. First time we've ever seen that. Yeah, let's play more. Oh, great shot. I've had sponsor tip arounds. <laughs> Fan appreciation days. Three rounds more. of handball, four rounds, Nine five rounds after seven. that. You're supposed to be retired, Naughty. Point. You know what? Here we go. This is interesting. Um, talking about retirement. Uh, let's switch gears because I, I talk a lot seven. about retirement when I'm in this booth. Uh, the Anchorage group showed up in full force here, and they've been playing handball uh, every morning. They played today. They played yesterday. They play when they arrive. I mean, those guys just love handball. They're nuts. Yeah. They're crazy nuts. And you know, one of the things I was watching is, uh, does he not know that I need every shot to go in? <laughs> Golly, this guy. Breaking my heart. Um, but anyway, they high-five each other after every volley. Seven serving ten. It's very funny to me. Why is that funny? Uh, because normally all the, you know, the girls do that when they play. Like, they'll pat each other on the back. And well, yeah. But beach, beach, beach volleyball yeah. style. Yeah, here, wh what's going on with this blowing this Is that seconds. a timeout? I, I, I don't think you're allowed to take a timeout to blow Eight serving out. ten. I mean, it doesn't bother me because it gives me more time. But Let's talk about Dave Pink really quickly and how he prepares for this tournament. Big we sat down with him. Personal hygiene break. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's see what he had to say when we talked to him about his preparation for this tournament. Okay. Preparation is probably the biggest key to playing well in these events, and you have to know how to prepare yourself both physically and mentally. And I've had a challenging season this season with various injuries, particularly to my back. So I've tried to do a lot of different things to strengthen my back and also get myself in condition to play at these events. I've been swimming. I've been doing a lot of sprinting, jogging, practicing in the court by myself, jumping rope, doing ladder drills, and all kind of other activities that will make me cardiovascularly stronger and more well conditioned. As far as mentally, a um, lot of, it's just cut. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <Do I> <laughs> yeah, we see as soon as you get onto that mental aspect of Dave and, and he, he, just goes he doesn't even know what to say. <laughs> cut, let's cut, let's do this over. That's funny. And I'm glad we let that play through because I think a Great lot shot. of people that follow Dave Finker that's the thing they always talk about. How mentally is he right now? And when he started talking about it, Ten he, he doesn't nine. even train wreck. It's funny. That's very funny. Yeah, but you know what? I think right here, he is playing Charlie actually very well. Charlie has such a huge wrinkle on everything. Yeah. And watch Charlie put this down in the corner. Oh. Out. Just nestled that in that point. That was a nice shot there. They think in the lead, though, 10 to 9. Yeah, he's going to have to really step up his game here. Now, even if Dave were to Nine defeat Charlie and we didn't have the total points as the tiebreaker and we went head-to-head, -head, that means that you would still lose to Charlie because yeah. you lost to him already right out. Ooh, in this that's tournament. Oh, tight. A little tight. He knows he only needs four points. Ten serving nine. Four points to guarantee he has a chance still because then he'd have to play you. Sudden death. In sudden death. Right oh! Out. God. We have to talk about that shot right there. Nine serving ten. Point. Okay. Three points. See that one? Ten serving ten. <laughs> We're all together in ten. <laughs> Boy, that tough shot over there. Yeah. Charlie fades that hook over to the right wall. Yeah, nice shot. Lovely shot he has. Beautiful kill right yep. there. Little da Dave Chapman, shoot it at yourself. If it doesn't roll out, it's a hinder. Great shot. Ten serving ten. Is that something you subscribe to, Naughty? Or uh, you know, yeah. Point. But I mean, if you give me that shot, I'm just going to shoot it. So I'm not thinking Good. about Dave Chapman. Yeah. But I, I like the, the play where All Dave stands. says, just Point. shoot it at yourself. You know, if you don't roll it out, Eleven it's a Eleven serving ten. But Fink had a couple different shots he could have hit there. But he hit the flat roll in front of him, which is nice. Uh. 
Hard luck. It is very competitive. Uh, yeah. You know, it's to his detriment, too. Uh, and serving 11. It's not always the best thing to be that competitive. However, he did have the best posture of all the uh, interviews there. I don't know if you saw that. Very formal. Yeah. Okay. Point. Yeah, he did have it. Now, now it's only two points away. He's really, this is it. Chicken, thank you for inviting me to watch this happen. Well, Charlie's only 11 serving 11. Two points away from in your tournament. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what we were getting. Ball barely makes the front yeah. wall. Charlie's really improved his back wall game. Okay, this is nice. Oh, they're both so tight. Please, John. Come on, give us some hope, John. <laughs> you went the right way. Look at these socks. This could be the worst sock I've ever seen in my life. Oh, this isn't it good. It didn't look bad to me. It didn't look like a big obstruction. I, I mean, the whole is I, I don't know how to handle it. You might be right. I didn't see it. I'm not going to change it. I, I didn't see it. it I, I don't know what to say. Tank serving. Well, there's my brother-in-law helping me out. Time out. Okay. Let's take a look here and see what Dave is talking about. I saw. So that was a point. Okay. Two. There was one. 30 seconds. Shot. Time out for Fink. Okay. So. It's not obvious. It's, it is close. Dave's and watching the replay, it. and I actually disagree with Dave here. I can't see. Did you see the hinder there? Well, uh, the play's know, off the back wall, right? It is off the back wall, but we lose the back wall. You should see it from the front wall camera. That's back. the thing. It died in the camera? corner. Of course we have that camera, yeah? Well, we have it, but not on replay. In John's defense, Play ball. it's a super, super tough angle. Well, no, he's looking right down at it. Yeah, but I, I think that angle he's looking over. He's not behind I the play. I have that for a point making the score 12-11. A little different. And we have a little bit of hope. Side out. <laughs> Man, that game two of 11 that serving Matthew 12. Shanks was rare, super, super expensive. Yeah, if you would have got 10, you're – Tournament is still yeah. in oh. good standing here. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a little flat against Charlie. A little. You scored one. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but you're not sorry. 12, serving 12. No, I really am sorry <laughs> this time. This is one of those short. rare runs that I'm really sorry. <laughs> that ball, ball was short. short. Serve, ball stands. I really thought Second serve. coming into this weekend that would be the only match that I would have to worry about getting to the final, and that was turned out as I was right. I think everyone kind of knew what to do. Well, if you would have prepared for this tournament better, perhaps. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. That one I am actually sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Uh, oh, look, look at that. that. Little flick. And that he does it with quick. power, too. That was a flick of the wrist with the left. And look at Dave Fink. What, that was a, what was that little, little tantrum? That little six-year-old tantrum? Uh, can we see that again? I want to see the 12, tantrum. 12, serving 12. This is a great shot. Now watch the tantrum. Please let us see the tantrum. Short. Not going to see the tantrum. Oh well, covering up WPH employees. Good. Second serve. <laughs> Charlie Shanks here tied at 12, one point away from sending your tournament hopes yep. and finals. There right. we go, another miss. Playing for third now, that's awesome. It's great. My favorite match is the third place match. Thank you. Oh, I did 15 to one. <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> hey! Charlie Shanks serving here at 13 to 12. Let him talk some more. Can we zoom in on John's socks? I mean, can we get that angle? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think John likes this, actually. This is entertaining. This reminds him a lot of his third grade years in school that he deals with.
He knows how to handle them too. Ah, I'm not even listening. Thank you. Look at these things. Look Five. at those socks. There they are. Thirteen. <laughs> Serving twelve. Back to the court. Thirteen to twelve. <laughs> Wow, this is the, the this fly. The money ball. That was the money ball. You know, we didn't even think about this part, but he could actually technical himself out of a match if Charlie were to get upset and start cussing. He would lose points. Great. Point. And now we're see, never pat my opponent on the back. Hey, great shot. Well, Good for you. That was awesome. Apparently this isn't all about you, Naughty. <laughs> 14 to 12 gives his game point. Dangerous from there. Dave dives in. Charlie's able to flip it back. Dave. Uh, good try there. These volleys are so tough. Right out. Charlie just ran out of room. South End yeah. Rowing Club, that would have been <laughs> <laughs> two extra feet. He <laughs> might have been able to push it down to the front wall there. Dave looking for some wetness. He's it's not there. He's going to get back to the wetness. server's box here. Now he calls yeah, for oh it. Yeah. Walks around a little bit. Gets extra time. Yep. I know that play. Actually, I'm not doing that that much anymore. I don't fall down anymore. After this, we will go look at that interview that we have with Charlie Shanks about his preparation after this first game ends. That'd be great. I've seen a lot of Charlies today. Twelve serving in the 14. locker room. We spend about half an hour discussing things over Three. post and pregame stretches. So well it's going to be more Charlie Shanks One for you game. today. Yeah, great. Sorry. He deserves it. He's uh, been the most consistent player all year long, so, you know. You have to applaud that. But he had a great U.S. Open and mm -hmm. won a couple stops. He actually deserves it. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. No question. Point. And that is automatic floor oh. right there. You go. I know that play. I used to live on die on that play. But you don't do it anymore. Yeah, I don't have to fall down anymore. It's weird. Somebody once said, Naughty used to dive and then he got good. <laughs> You know, John has a matching pair of like uh, slippers uh, with Homer Simpson. It's just That's it's embarrassing, actually. Christmas morning, it is, I blows me away. He is wearing the most ridiculous outfit. Thirteen, outfits. serving fourteen. Seen. He's got Homer Simpson pants, Homer Simpson shoes. I think he has a man, cr uh, a man crush on Homer Simpson. Look at Charlie. He's being entertained, just like you were entertained yesterday playing Dave, laughing in the. You have to. You, you absolutely <laughs> have to. <laughs> I saw you laughing. And you didn't make any bones about it. You just did it. Here's game point. Charlie oh. between the legs. Oh. Good shot. He gave him another setup. Good smart shot there. Just a wrinkle. Oh, just don't say it hit you. Well, it was obvious it did. His I don't think it hit him. I saw his shorts flip up in the air. You have the greatest vision ever, though. Have, have we had a uh, overtime game yet? 14, serving 13. No. Well, here it comes. I don't know. This could be the final point. Well, I think Dave's feeling good. That's a great shot. Charlie's left is improved. Oh! And look at that laser left Super. from Charlie. 15, 13, Super zippy there. I like that shot. Minutes. Unbelievable shot right great. there from Charlie Shanks. Wins 15 to 13. We're not going to take a break at this moment, but let's talk about the preparation that Charlie Shanks has as he gets ready for this race season and in one of these typical tournaments. This is what Charlie had to say. Let's see. Yeah, I do a lot of um, gym work. I, I basically do as much gym work as I play handball on the court. So that's how I prepare physically for the race for it. Uh, mentally, is that's a tough one. <laughs> Sometimes I don't prepare at all mentally, <laughs> and the results show that. But other times when I um, devote some time to concentrating and focusing prior to the event, I seem to do well. Well, that's uh, Charlie very loose there in, in talking yeah. about his preparation. But uh, nonetheless, Charlie Shank sitting down and talking to us here at the Washington Athletic Club. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in two minutes. For Nadia Alvarado, Dave Vincent, we'll have game number two next here at RaceForEight.com. Stick with us. <laughs>
It's Timothy Green's first day at school. What's in there? He's well, about just to fall anything over. Anything he might need. There's a box of tissues on the bottom. It's a band aid. There's a whole first aid kit, actually. Mom, I can handle it from here. You don't have to be perfect. Have a great day. That's too much pressure. Have the day you have. To be a perfect parent. There are two people in the world who want you more than anything. They'll make some mistakes, but they will love you more than you can ever imagine. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. That score zero to zero starting of game number two. Second serve. Serving zero. Just over the line. Yeah. Maybe he makes it, you know, that's just over the line, but he's got so much zip. Look at that. Good stuff. Oh, heartbreakers. Frustrating right there. Yeah. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just sit here and smile. I do too. I, I, I watched it yesterday and uh, it was there in person, you know, right live with it. And it's just, you can't worry <laughs> about things like that. That's just how it goes. Well, what I don't understand now, Nadia, is that you and I would dive for this. Mm -hmm. We missed it. Yep. We would get up, clean it off, and go get in the backcourt. But with Dave, it's so much drama involved with the referee didn't throw the towel down quick enough or fast enough or right enough or yeah. in the area Serving enough. Zero. He's almost worried about and too many elements. He's watching the instant replay to see if Charlie foot faulted. <laughs> I mean, it's just so <laughs> much involved. Point. And he wants to kick it and he wants to throw it, but he's <laughs> <laughs> trying to restrain it, re Three restrain himself. Zero. And I'm not trying to say bad things about no. Dave. It's just I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. It is there's too many nuances he's trying to find and figure and it. You know, just simplify yourself a little bit more here. And he's a talented handball player, he's so too. He's so good. It's he's so, so hard good. to play against him. Yeah. Because he's so aggressive. Uh. Good shot there. Tough spot for him. That's his weakest spot. Hey, you heard John almost good kid. call a screen there. <laughs> so John just throws it on top of <laughs> Dave's head this time. Zero. Dave barking at the referee there saying, I believe he just wants the towel immediately. No, you know what he was actually arguing that about. That screen that no, John almost Not called? at all. He didn't want the, the fans to applaud that volley whatsoever. Oh he okay. told him, don't clap for that. There's the <laughs> instant replay of the throw from John Bike. And I think that's the rebuttal comment there from John. Let the fans clap. That was a good volley up, up until the end. So it was. It was good. Yeah. Four serving zero. Pink scolding the fans for <laughs> applauding. Don't clap for me ever. I was in Pittsburgh one time when I Dave lost the first game at very close, like twenty one eighteen. And one of the players said, That's amazing handball, Dave. 
That's just not the thing you say to a guy that just lost. <laughs> but nonetheless, not something you would say oh. to Dave. The whole tournament. That went in. Five, five, serving zero. Well. Point. I think when we told Fink on text message that this game had to be 13 Six and under, he thought zero. he was we were referring to his <laughs> score. <laughs> Scoring 13 the first game and zero in this one, and now Charlie is rolling. Yeah. I, I remember that. This is what I remember Mike match zero. with uh, Charlie. This 8 0, 9 0, 10 0. Well, he just does it so quick. Look at this. Yeah. And you have to call timeouts, but even then, it, you can't stop a train. No, this eight is where you actually zero. hit him with the ball. Uh, just hit him. Just Point. grab it. You can't even get the ball back. I mean, right. how could you hit him? Yeah, I would ask for the ball. Give me that oh, ball. Oh, just throw it right throw out. It out. Yeah. Zero. Midsection, yeah, you aim for a face. Then be like, what was that ball? I don't know. Charlie doesn't seem like a guy you want to scrap with. Never. With. No, he's too nice, actually. A hammer. A chisel. Wow. So you've got Andy Nett and Brady playing next, correct? Correct. And how's Andy been playing? I haven't seen. Well, him. he's been playing good. Okay. He defeated Sean Lennon in four minutes right last night. Huh. Lennon is still it's probably hurting, I guess, maybe. Zero serving nine. Uh, just, just, just for the conversation. One serving nine. What would Andy have to keep Brady under Point. to make that an interesting I called the serve two victory grouping? Well, Point. if if Brady were to lose, two I mean, serving nine. It's unlikely, but Andy's that guy well, that doesn't it likes power. Believe it or not, Luis Moreno sc has scored a lot of points in yeah. this tournament. Paul Brady's going to have to score. Oh, Point. yeah. See. In this match, Paul Brady, there will be 30 points total, right? Mm -hmm. That would Three put Paul Brady nine. at 87, and Luis Moreno already has 84. Wow. So that means that Andy Nett's going to have to just win and keep Paul at about 12 and 13. Yes. And two wins. See, that would be interesting. This is why pool play is really exciting. And that's because Nine, Luis Moreno defeated Paul Brady in that second game mm -hmm. yesterday. And right. even though it went breaker and Paul dominated in that breaker, so to speak. Right, right. Uh, Luis took a lot of Paul's points away. Yeah. Point. So Paul has a kind of a worse thing happening. Luis still could win his bracket if Andy Nett can keep Paul away from 27 point yeah. points total. Now, that's enough. not easy to do, but if you are going to win, you probably could keep somebody under 27 points. You could, yeah. So you look over here. Uh, yeah. You see Brady's got 57, and you got 84 total points for Luis Moreno. So if Andy Nett defeats Paul Brady, there's a good chance that Paul Brady does not win his pool. And uh, frankly, if you talk to Paul about it, he would say, well, I don't deserve to win yeah. if I lost. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, that's interesting. So it comes down to these other matches yeah, that yeah, determines I, I, I do good. like it. As long as other people understand yeah. what's going on. I, they're not, they don't have the luxury of seeing the points here. But <coughs> Score is 10. That might be a new. Uh, you might want to try one race for eight three. Season, I mean, event next I like year. it. It's exciting. You know, you have other players determining your mm -hmm. your fate. Yeah. Point. But it's still under your it's under your control. You still have to win your games. But now you have to not only win your games, but win your games by an amount of points that keeps you ahead of the you know the rest of the pack. So it's kind of it's kind of fun. You can't have loafer points. Eleven serving three. Serving three. Point. Thirteen serving three. Score is thirteen to three. Oh, and Charlie hits his own foot. I, I, I don't know. 
don't know. It can't be good for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Charlie asking if that's a hindrance. John Bike saying, I don't know. <laughs> there, see? See, did a little more of this. Three, serving 13. Dave said to Charlie, are you okay? <laughs> Charlie served the ball and hit his own foot on the serve. Now, the only time I've ever seen that happen is when John Bike did that in Denver. He served and hit his own leg. Do you remember that? No, no. I, John's from pretty tuckered out there. Tuckered. Sorry, I said it. Oh. Just I don't know if we're using backwood slang here in the broadcast booth. Tuckered. Naughty, but okay, I'm a little tuckered. Must have been hanging out at some truck stops. <laughs> <laughs> Call stands. 13 to 3 score here. Charlie, let's see if you can get this one over the, 13, the football three. line <laughs> this time. I just want to make sure it doesn't hit his foot. See how oh, low he hits that yeah. ball. And look so how Ch Charlie puts his foot that. out there. Yeah, he puts that foot out there, yeah. and then he's Second hitting third. the ball just about an inch over his foot. Yeah. Surprised it doesn't happen more. Yeah, uh, you know, now that you're thinking about it. Uh oh. Second serve. Not a bad return. No. Wow. Right. Charlie just lets up a little bit there. Yeah. Dave's upset with himself, but really, what could you do? Uh, I think that serve was such a good serve that Dave just might have hit it too hard. But The only thing that Dave probably should be upset about is that he didn't cover the front court more. You know, he gave Charlie a shot that he liked. Move in there. Take that corner, that the left corner away from him. I think a lot of us, including myself, will sit back there and just say, he makes Three, a good shot, 14. and we're actually hoping for a miss. And if you start doing that, you're getting real desperate. you got to move in there, take that corner. And that's what Dave Chapman did so well. He moved Second right into serve. that short box and made you roll out a ball. Yeah. So that's right. that's a lot of what we're not seeing these days anymore is a guy that's re-killing balls. We're, we're going to be like all the other courts. <laughs> huh? That's the point. I would, there's no bad bounces. On the serve, I'll play a slide over, but not a bad bounce, right? What? No, we don't, we no. don't go by local rules. We play everything. Yeah. I don't know why Charlie's even bringing this up. This is his third match. Four serving 14. Well, it's even funnier that he's bringing it up at 4-14. Um. Local rules? What is he talking about? <laughs> Look at that. Been in Washington since for the first time ever on Thursday. <laughs> He's already hanging with the locals talking 14 about. 14 serving four. This is the home court. We will adopt some house rules at certain events. There's no doubt about that. But locally, when talking to the committee, we asked him what, what is Charlie and isn't. 15, the local committee 13, said everything 13, is, 13, there's no hinders. Yeah. But it's like an urban legend around here. Now all of these, these hinders are popping up. <laughs> Charlie Shanks advances with a 15 to four win. That eliminates you, Nani, from Great. being in the contention to win this tournament. Now you'll be playing for third place. We'll have another one coming up in about 23 minutes or so. They're gonna change a light in the court, so we might have a little delay. That'll come up uh, in about 15 minutes or so. Match next, Paul Brady and Andy Nett. Stick around, more handball here at raceforeight.com. So what's it gonna be? Uh, we could ride bikes, skating. Movies. Zoo? Whatever you guys want to do. Can we just do this? Yeah. We could just do this. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. 